Welcome to Forest Hill College. This is a video with everything you'll need to know as an incoming Year 7 student for 2023. Woomanjika, we acknowledge the traditional Wurundjeri owners of the land on which the college is located, the land of the Kulin Nations. I pay my respects to the Elders past, present and emerging, as well as Elders from other communities who may be here today. My name is Jessica Hendrickson. I'm the head of subschool for middle years at Forest Hill College, um, which means I oversee year level seven, eight, and nine. Um, so I'll be working really closely with Liam Payne, our year seven level leader, um, to ensure a smooth and supportive environment and transition for your year seven students. Um, it will be really familiar faces throughout this whole, whole process and all through next year uh, for your student and yourselves. Meet our principal team. So we have David Rogers, our principal of Forest Hill College. We also have uh, Nikki Buckingham, our assistant principal, and Chris Grant, another assistant principal. We have a fantastic wellbeing team here at Forest Hill College. Uh, we have Mark, Lee, Sasha, and Christian all working with our students depending on what they need. We work very closely with Sasha in middle years. Um, however, they can all support. All right, time to talk about some key dates coming up for our Year 7s. So the first one is our Orientation Day, held on Tuesday the 13th of December, so not long from now. And we will meet you all here right at 9am. We've got our first day of school, which will be for our Year 7s on the last day of January. Our Year 7 Welcome Barbecue, which is a great opportunity for both students and parents to come along and meet some of the Year 7 teachers and we'll answer any questions that you may have. Early in the year, we've got our swimming carnival, which is always a great event. We've got the school photos, always important, and our Year 7 camp is early in March. We've also got our immunisations, which on orientation day, your, uh, the students will be given an immunisation form that they should return on the first day of school. On Tuesday the 13th of December is the orientation day for all Year 6 students going into Year 7 across the state. So we want to see every single Year 7 student from 2023 that's going to be at Forest Hill here on that day. All right, we're going to run it just like a normal school day. So we're going to start at nine o'clock in the morning and things that you should bring include your school bag, your water bottle, your hat, your recess, your, that's both your morning recess, your lunch and your afternoon recess. All right. On that day, wear your school, uh, school uniform, so your full primary school uniform, except wear some runners as well, because we'll be doing a PE session on that day. To drive to school on Tuesday, you've just got to be aware that there's some roadworks going on at the moment. So the roundabout at Hawthorne Road and Marnie Road is currently closed. To access our school, you'll need to drive down Marnie Road. And if you access it via the Burwood Highway, you shouldn't have any issues. You'll have to drive through the detour there, but um, you should be fine. If you plan on taking public transport, please just go to the public transport website and plan your trip in advance. We really look forward to seeing you, hopefully, at about 8.40 on uh, Tuesday. At 9am, you'll meet us at the Kel Watson Theatre and we will get started into our normal school day. So period one of this school day, we'll have a bit of an introduction and a connect session where you'll learn who your classmates are going to be for 2023. Then at 10 o'clock, we'll have a 15 minute recess and then we'll get into our rotations. So, or our classes for the day. We will have classes for period two, three, four and five. During period two, three and four, we'll be doing science, English and art, okay? Um, just know that lunch is after period three and we have 45 minutes for lunch. And then we have an afternoon recess which goes for another 15 minutes. 
Period five will either have an academy session for the academy students or a PE lesson for everybody else. So on Tuesday, the 31st of January, the last day of January, we'll be back at school. All your teachers, all the year seven students and the year 12 students will be required at school on that day. Then on the 1st of February, the whole school will be here. On that first day, meet us at the Kel Watson Theatre once again, and we'll get into the school day promptly. Subjects on offer uh, in semester one at Forest Hill College for year seven students uh, on the screen at the moment. So compulsory subjects, all students will do maths, English, science, Barak, which is a humanities multidisciplinary subject. Uh, one period of connect, which is sort of like a home group um, and either P or academy. Now, on top of this, students will also have um, choose an elective and a language. So on orientation day, students will get to put in their preferences of which ones they would like. They'll get to do two out of the three next year, so one per semester. Um, so four languages, we have Italian, Japanese, or computing. Um, so they'll only do two out of the three for the entire year next year. One semester one and one semester two. That is the same with the elective choice, so they'll like get to choose out of art, drama or foods. We also have all the academies listed here if your student would like to participate in one of them. They are every morning Monday to Thursday in period one and they do start earlier. Here is an example of a Year 7 student's timetable, um, particularly for semester one. So you'll see that um, all the subjects there are listed. We also have the teacher's name next to the subject and then there's a room uh, number. So um, in the morning students will either do PE or academy. In the compulsory subjects they'll usually stay with their uh, connect group. So if your student is in 7A then 7A students will all have maths and English together. Then we also have our elective subjects where they'll get mixed up a little bit depending on their preferences. Lists have been made available on Compass for you to have a look at for Year 7s. Um, there are a range of different resources that they do require in materials. So uh, there is a link in this video, but you can also access that via Compass on in the little star icon. Um, there's textbooks, but also uh, resources in calculator and that sort of thing. Um, for orientation day, they don't need to bring any of this, but starting from next year on their first day, they should start Start bringing them and they'll have a locker to put all of their things in. At Forest Hill College we have a bring your own device policy um, where students and families can choose which device they would like to be using. We don't advise iPads or Apple products although they can be used. Um, we do prefer Microsoft products and there is a whole policy on this which you can either click here or find it on Compass. Um, all students do require an a, a device and need it to be fully charged for the whole day. Um, there are also some specifications listed here as well. School uniform is a non-negotiable part of our student life and it really gives students the opportunity to show the pride they have to be a part of our Forest Hill community. One of the big things about our school that, and the, the part of the uniform that often gets broken the most is the shoes, okay? So for our shoes, they need to be black, they need to be polished, they need to be uh, leather and they need to be either lace up or buckle up shoes. We've also got, uh, I've got pictured some examples of the uniform here, but often as long as you're wearing the polo and shorts and pants or the dress or a skirt, that should be fine. While doing PE at school, you'll be required to wear a different uniform. So you'll be required to wear the PE polo and some different shorts. It's really important that you do wear this uniform whether you're doing PE or even if you're representing the school at an inter-school sport. All right. You'll also be allowed to wear runners. So I suggest wearing the most comfortable runners you can find. They don't have to be black, but some comfortable runners. If you're in an academy program, you'll be asked to wear a different uniform as well, but those details will be told to you in the near future. 
by now. Parents should have access to their, your Compass login. So um, Compass is a fantastic tool that we use to communicate with you guys and show you what learning we're, we're doing at school. So you'll see, based on my picture on this slide, that we've got our news feed, which is general news about the college that you will that you may be interested in. You'll also have access to students' timetables, any learning tasks that they've got coming up and any important assessments that they might have. You'll also be able to do your lunch orders on that website. So as long as you get your lunch order in before 9am on the day of that lunch order, your child will be able to get food from the Oggies Cafe that we provide. If you've got any questions, big or small, please don't hesitate to email either myself or Jess and we'll get back to you promptly. We're really excited about 2023 and we hope uh, we're excited to meet all you guys and support you throughout your time at Forest Hill College.